Okay. Hey guys, what is going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to another episode, the second of the day of your Minnesota Twins OOTP 16 franchise. And it's time for opening day. We went over the Major League roster last episode. Earlier today, you saw the prospects being reviewed, and now it is time to start opening day. And before any of this simulation starts, I already said this before, but this game's simulation I think personally is a little flawed. I don't think it's the most realistic. You could have some team do good and then the next year do completely bad, even if they have the same roster. So really, if we make the playoffs, I'll be very surprised, but you never know. Anything could happen. And like I said, this, this fan base and this organization has totally built um, or I guess um, bought into this rebuild. And I think that if we do it right, which we are on the way to doing so, we can really turn this team around. So let's go ahead and jump into opening day. Like I said, the season isn't hyped up about. No one's really going crazy. Obviously, baseball is back. Everyone's happy. But for Twins fans, they know that it may not be the best season. We are still a couple of seasons away from being amazing. So let's go ahead and start opening day against the Detroit Tigers. I almost said the Texas Rangers as it is generating the season predictions and we will be right back with opening day. Okay, so here are the opening day lineups for both of these teams. You see that the Twins have their lineup set up featuring Danny Santana, Brian Dozier, and the rest of the crew. And they will be putting out Phil Hughes in this one. Tigers on the other end, they have a pretty good lineup. Miguel Cabrera, Victor Martinez, Ioannis Cespedes, uh, Ian Kinsler, all those guys are very good, even Jose Iglesias. So they'll be putting out David Price on the mound for this one as they look to get back on track last year after, I guess, having a little bit of an off year losing the um, ALDS against the Baltimore Orioles. Okay, so here we go in this one. It is a radio broadcast type of thing. You see the ballpark. Nothing special. Um, this is just simulation gameplay, guys. This is um, something, you know, we can tell them what to do and all that, but we can't physically play the game. So this is how it's going to go. Down here, you have your uh, simulate the each at bat, simulate a half inning, then an inning, and then you can go over here to the substitutions to get your bullpen going and all that stuff. So this is the scoreboard right here. This is what we can tell the defense and offense to do. And these are just uh, stats for the pitcher and current batter with the lineups on the sides. So, again, like I said last episode, you can get actual ballpark pictures and um, player pictures in there. I wasn't able to do that in the time between last Sunday and this Thursday. So hopefully by this Sunday, when episodes get going again, we can have those cool pictures in for this stuff. Because I know you can do that. So anyways, let's go ahead and get on with this one. I want to go through this not quick but I you know these games can take a while and I don't want this video to be too long so we're just gonna be using the half inning simulation here as we have David Price on the mound in Detroit for opening day half inning Minnesota gets one hit but nothing going Detroit's half inning no hits allowed still 0-0 we're just gonna be simulating through here Detroit gets the first hit but no runs scored here we'll stop here after three um, Danny Santana, obviously, uh, he did get the only hit, so he laid off with a hit. David Price, um, he's okay, he has 31 pitches. We'll do one more half inning here, as Phil Hughes has 44 pitches, he's doing okay. We are now in the bottom of the fourth, and they get a hit, but no runs. Okay, keep simulating here, still no runs here. Finally, Detroit puts up two in the fifth inning. I think we might have to, uh look at getting the bullpen going as they do put up a two spot here they get five hits not all in one inning but uh, we'll go ahead here look at our substitutions Bill Hughes uh, he's doing okay I just want to get this bullpen going I don't want to mess anything up so let's go ahead and go into our bullpen we need the pitchers here so we'll put in who should we put in um, Let's go ahead and put in Stefan or Steven Pryor. I think we'll put him in, see what he can do here. As we will go back to the broadcast and we'll simulate another half inning. Don't get any runs. Uh, Phil Hughes is at 82 pitches. Early on in the season, you don't want to tire him out. Man, I don't know, this is tough. He went five innings. We did just allow like three hits in one inning and two runs. So I think we're going to go ahead here and put in um, Pryor as he is ready to go. 
And that's gonna do it for Phil Hughes Knights. We will get, um, let's put Tim Stauffer in here. It's a bullpen, get him ready just in case we need him. And we'll go ahead here, simulate the bottom of the sixth and they don't get any runs. So nice job there. We'll go to the top of the sixth and we still don't get any runs here. So Pryor's at eight pitches. His stamina is not very good though. So I'm gonna go ahead here and put in Tim Stauffer as he is also ready to go for the seventh, I think. Yeah, seventh. We're gonna put in um, Fuel Bar here. Actually, no, we're gonna put in KC Fien. This game is kind of tearing up our bullpen right from the start, so I don't want to leave him in for multiple innings. But we will see here as we go to the bottom of the seventh, and we don't allow any runs. That's good. Now we just need people to start doing some good things here offensively. Um, Plough. Why not swing away here? As the play-by-play -play will come in, two bats, he's hitless, and he will strike out. So that is not good. Uh, next at bats, we'll see here. Arcia, he's 0 for 2. The pitch is hit in the deep right, and it's a homer. All right, so Arcia gets a, hoer, a homer, and that cuts the lead in half. So now it's 2 to 1. So very nice job there by Arcia, as it is now 2 1. Brian Dozier up to bat now, the sixth batter, and popped up. Looks like it's going to be an out, and it is. So. Now there are two outs, we'll see what we can do here. As Hunter is up, he's hitless, and 0-1 pitch is swung on. Picked up, throw to first, and that is it. So we do get one run in the eighth inning. Hopefully uh, we can do a little more here. We'll see, substitutions. Casey Fien is getting a little tired, so it's a good thing we'll put him in right now. Um, we'll get Tonkin, look, uh, put it in the, uh, oh, never mind. Let's put Brian Dwensing in. I don't want to put any of our closers or setup men in because um, I guess uh, we won't put him in just yet. We'll simulate the half inning and they don't score any runs. That is very good. So top of the ninth here, it's do or die here. If we start, if we get someone on base, then uh, we're going to go ahead and put in the closer. Albuquerque is on the mound for the Tigers. Hicks swings at it, and Cespedes makes the catch. So one out down here in the ninth in opening day. Next batter is our Eduardo Escobar. He is 0 for 2. 2-2 two, two counts, and bounces in front of the plate. Tags him for the out. So we're down to our final out here in opening day. Here we go. Danny Santana, leadoff man. Just needs to get on base and he doesn't. So he strikes out and that is the ball game. Tigers win this one, two to one, a very close one at the end. But uh, unfortunately our offense just wasn't enough tonight. We only got two hits. One of them was a homer. So if we can just get more hits, hopefully that means we can get some more runs. As that is it for opening day and I'll see you guys back at the main menu screen. All right, so we just finished that one. We are 0 and 1 so far to start off the season. That's okay. Opening day doesn't mean everything, but like I was saying before, we're not going to get, you know, obviously baseball is started, it's back, and it's, you know, the season starting, but at the same time, this whole organization and even the fan base knows that this team is not ready to win just yet, so it's going to be a little bit of a grind here, just kind of waiting. Like I said, not too many trades may happen, maybe just some minor trades for depth, unless we get a big offer that we can make uh, a blockbuster, but we'll see. Um, it's just mainly going to be waiting for these prospects. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, hit that like button if you did. New episode of this coming out on Sunday as we will sim probably a month, maybe two, and look at how the players are doing. And like I said, the series is just going to be more in depth. So again, smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, peace.